Why do you have your coat on? Well, I'm, I'm leaving. It's five o'clock. Um, but, you know, Alva, you still haven't found that contract yet, have you? I don't know. There are 15. There's Spiegel files. It's all I do all day. I mean, I... But you haven't found it yet, Alva. Now, don't you think it would be a good idea to stay late? Maybe work a little overtime? My eyes are killing me. Oh. Well, I was, I was also thinking today that maybe you could put somebody else on the job for a while. Or uh, another secretary to help me out. I mean, you know, to make the job easier. Alva. There is no one else in this entire office that I could possibly ask to share such a horrible job. You're the lowest on the totem pole here, Alva. The lowest. Do you realize that? Every other secretary who's been here has been here longer than you, Alva. Every one. And even if there was someone here who was here just one day longer than you, I still wouldn't ask that person to partake in such a miserable job as long as you were around. That's right, Alva. It's a horrible, horrible job. Sifting through old contract after old contract. I couldn't think of a more horrible job if I wanted to. And you have to do it. You have to, or I'll fire you. Do you understand? Do you? Good. And there's no problem then, is there? Don't you want to use your gun, Alva? Don't you? How much nicer on the outside world doesn't interfere with the pleasure. <laughs> you were so right to put yourself into my hands, Peter. The only one who can put you out of your misery. <laughs> Tell me how much you love me, my angel. Whisper it to me just once. Please. Just once. Oh, just once. I know you do. I can read your mind, my love. Tell me you love me. Tell me. Yes. Yes. Tell me how much you love me. I love you. Oh. 